40 yet. Yeah, so, uh, nope. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I suppose my training wasn't enough. The Blue Lions have no choice but to retreat. Okay, they're going after them. Yeah. 
Ah. Yeah. What if we went him to attack? Much better. Oh, I have an idea. You can't oh, see that. Worth. Ready anytime. Yeah. I stand ready. He does combat. Let us be cautious. Okay, that's the last time. Ready anytime. All right, that's it. Oh, that should have killed him. What? What? Oh, that's... Leave it to me. Let us away. That, that, that's actually, that was actually. That's my cue. They are just going to be moving. Who are you going after? Him, big guy. I got this. Okay. So this. I stand ready. Place here. Where is your game? Trivial victory. Nice. Awesome. I think we got this in the back. I'm still not satisfied. All right. 
I gotta figure out that. Leave that it to me. Not, that may not have been better. Uh, okay, that was. I can help too. Yeah. In this situation. That was that. That was indeed the best. Ready anytime. Who are you going on? Her. Fine. Not better. Great shot. Boom. And... Let us away. This fuel. That helps. Stay focused. Ugh, that would hurt. If you stand in my way, I will cut you down until you have no blood left to bleed. What? I was just trying to rally your spirits. Now, to victory! Ah. Oh, this is off. That's my cue. Okay, need to hit. Okay. No. I'm sorry, but I must retreat. You should have no trouble winning. Don't. Ready and there's willing. There's one guy left. Oh wait, there's two guys left. I have to take that back. <laughs> Let's get to it. Boom. I got this. Best part. I stand ready. Well done. All right. 
I decided I'm gonna get that chest. I'm getting that chest, Jack. And then I'll finish him. Oh, you are. of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... The Golden Deer! Yeah. A victory worthy of a feast. We did so well, there's no way we didn't secure that prize. Yep. And we didn't lose a single member. Well, of course I defeated more of them. Of course I defeated more of them. MVP? Nice! Go, my girl! Leone, go. Awesome. Leone's motivation is maxed out. Oh, oh well. Uh, we'll go ahead and save this in the story. Scene. Well done, Claude. I see your schemes are not to be underestimated. Yes, I must wholeheartedly agree. As ever, I have proven to be no match for you. It is the utmost honor to receive praise from your voice. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Really, though, you know, I was lucky to have Teach on my side. In all honesty, you two made me work for it. If I had to face you again, there's no telling which way it would go. What do you think, Teach? How did the other houses fare? They were nothing. Yeah, they were actually really strong. Not strong enough, clearly. If there's ever a next time, know that I plan to wipe that smile from your face. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, now that the three-way battle has ended in an alliance victory, I dare say it's time for some post-battle reconciliation. The victor has but one request. Hear me out. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. <laughs> I accept your proposition. Please notify me once your preparations are complete. It seems I have no choice but to drown my sorrow at losing an overindulgence. I'll help you with the preparations. Awesome. <laughs> it's not a feast if you don't eat too much. Leave it to the Imperial Princess to say such wonderful things. That's not exactly what I said, but forget it. Laugh all you want. Well, if you insist. <laughs> hey, Teach. Looks like you're having a good time, too. Seeing you smile like that means we've got no choice but to have a great time tonight. Let's get going. Oh, I 
can't believe our house leader ate so much he passed out. I guess he should just sleep it off? Oh, Professor! Great work today. Yep. As long as we have you and Claude, the Golden Deer House is unstoppable. I am sure we did not require Claude for our victory, but it certainly would not have been possible without our professor. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be in your class, Professor. You truly bring out the best in us. Let's keep fighting and winning! I knew the tactics you learned from the captain would be something else. I better work harder to catch up. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. Just want to say one thing. I'm kind of surprised that you get the uh, ability to recruit members from other houses basically to come over to your house. But they don't pop into these seats. Because of you, I managed to get through the fight without feeling like a burden. Thank you, Professor. I hear Lady Rhea and Sedith are singing your praises, too. Uh, you all worked hard. Wait, just wait until you see my true power. <laughs> no, we ain't picking. We ain't picking that one. Nope. All right. So, uh... Hey, Felicia. You like how you can make Mary Ray in this game? Can you really? It might have been a little bit of a spoiler toward me, but that's perfect. Uh, I guess that's okay. How are you doing today, Felicia? All right. Uh, you YouTubed it? Ah. Uh. All right. Well, yeah, you all work hard. You're always so modest. You really showed them, Teach. Oh, hey. I would really hate to be on your bad side. Oh, look. Claude has been revived. Your tactics were ingenious, and you've somehow mastered the power of the King of Liberation's relic. You really are incredible. Though you can be a bit absent-minded at times. Your mind is like a giant bowl with a tiny crack in it. Claude, saying that only makes your own mind bowl seem tiny. How dare you? My bowl is much bigger than Teach's. Unfortunately, it doesn't just have a crack. The whole bottom of my bowl is missing. In other words, you are the absent-minded one, not our professor. That's true. <laughs> he just admitted it. It's unusual yeah. to hear you laughing, Marianne. Your smile is really cute. It feels so great to laugh and joke around like this, doesn't it? Hmm? Well, look at that. Someone's having a secret rendezvous in the courtyard. All joking aside, I'm having trouble sizing you up, Teach. The honest truth is that I'd hate to have you as an enemy. If possible, I wish for you to fight by my side. If I could use the sword of the creator, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I bet if I could use it, you would trust me to, right? That selflessness may be what I like best about you. 